to get you, Barbara. Ever play? Skin the cat. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about Scream 6 being a remake to Scream 2. Now, I think everyone knows there's a lot of similarities between Scream 2 and Scream 6. And I know that some people say online, well, it's not just Scream 2, it's other Scream movies that Scream 6 is maybe not just copying, but taking inspiration from. And that's true, movies like Scream 3, etc. But when you break it all down and you look at it from a distance and up close, it's clearly obvious that Scream 6 is a remake of Scream 2. Now, I didn't do a video of this before, maybe I should have, but I felt that Scream 5, although it was really good, that was like a remake of Scream 1, you had the boyfriend who was the, the killer at the end, uh, his crazy lover, or at least his friend, like Billy's friend Stu, was the second killer as well. It took place in Woodsboro, it came back to root, the roots, it had Sydney in it. Even the ending of the film was in the same place as the ending of Scream 1. It took place in Stu Macker's house, so there was all the foundations there to class this as a remake, and that's why they were making fun of remakes and reboots because this is classed as a requel. So I think it was disguised as a, a new terminology, a requel, so that they didn't have to call it a reboot. And it is a sequel at the end of the day, but they still done the same things as they did in Scream 1. So it is a semi-remake to be honest. But then when you look at Scream 6, coming off the back of Scream 5, it's taking place outside of Woodsboro, just like Scream 2 did. Um, but I think when you look at everything that they copy with Scream 2, they go that step further. Maybe for the good, maybe for the better, maybe for the worse, I don't know. But they go that step further. So instead of going from Woodsboro to a college um, close by, they're going from Woodsboro to New York, all the way across the country to the other side of America. So they're taking that a little bit step further. Um, you've got Mindy, who's now the new Randy, but she's not just Randy, she's the better Randy, and that's not a good thing. She's even better than Randy, she's telling them the rules of the sequels, etc, or the rules of the requels in this case. So she's that step further than Randy. She even tells the rules at college, just like Randy did as well. So she's telling the rules of her sequels, and Randy was telling the rules of his sequels as well. So there's, you've got that similar similarities. And then, Similar to Scream 5 and Scream 1, the movie takes place in a theatre at the end of the film. And where does Scream 2 take place? That's right, the ending takes place in a theatre as well. So there's just so many similarities to that. Now you can obviously dig deeper, I'm not going to do that because there's so many similarities. But then when you're looking at the killers, the motives behind the killing, they go that step further. There's not just one person that wants to get revenge for the death of a previous killer. You've got three people that want to get revenge for the death of the previous killer. Now, in Scream 2, Mrs. Loomis wants to get revenge for the death of her son, Billy Loomis, who was the killer in Scream 1, and he was trying to kill Sydney. In this one, it's the exact same. Instead of Mrs. Loomis, you've got Detective Bailey, who wants to get revenge for his son, Richie, who was the killer in Scream 5, who tried to kill Sam. So. The similarities are just so blatantly, obviously, in your face. And I don't know if Radio Silence, the creators of this new trilogy, I don't know if it was intentional and they want us to know that it's intentional, or it's just a carbon copy and they don't realise it, that they're, what they're doing is simply remaking Scream 2. What did you just say? But what does that mean for Scream 7? Is Scream 7 going to be a carbon copy and a remake, essentially, of Scream 3? Or are they going to try and make us think that that's the case and go off on a different angle and do something completely different? I'm hoping that's the case. But if they want to do similarities to Scream 3, are we going to get a family member return at the end of Scream 7, just like Roman did at the end of Scream 3? Is maybe Sam's mother going to come back and be one of the killers? Probably. Is Tara's dad going to come back with... Tara's mother, Christine, are the two of them going to be killers? Because they'll take it that step further than just one, just Roman? Possibly. Are they going to do it? I, I would imagine so, to be honest, if they go the same trend. Now, if they don't want us to guess that, because that would be too obvious, then they have to change it up, they have to go a different route. 
Could Stu Maka come back and bring everything full circle? Yes, of course it could. Uh, but I just think that with the events of Scream 5 and the events of Scream 6 being so blatantly obviously the same as Scream 1 and 2, then my hopes for Scream 7 are dashing because I thought they were going to do something different in Scream 6, but it was a play-by-numbers scenario and the motives and the reasons behind everything that went on were too obvious. And that's why I thought Scream 6 was the most obvious um, in terms of guessing who the killers were and guessing their motives. And I guessed it straight from the off. And I've said this before, as soon as Quinn said her dad moved to New York City Police Department to be closer to her, I thought, okay, he's a killer. And then when she said my brother's that my brother died, I'm like, okay, her brother was related to one of the previous killers, most likely Richie. And that all took place. It was all murder by numbers. Uh, no pun intended, but it was just all played out the way I thought it would because of the events of Scream 2 and the situations and the scenarios that they got themselves in. So for me guys, Scream 6 is a remake of Scream 2. So what are your thoughts behind that guys? Am I looking too far into it? Do you think what I'm thinking will happen in Scream 7 will happen? because of the events of Scream 3, who knows? Leave your thoughts and comments down below guys, let me know what you think, and as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you soon, bye bye.